Page Experience Optimization Tutorials by Rankia Image Optimization In this video session, we're going to focus on image optimization so that the Google Page Experience update will benefit your website. Images play an important part for almost all websites, particularly for websites such as e-commerce sites, websites that showcase a lot of images. So how do we then optimize images? First, we can name image file names in a logical, meaningful manner, as well as including keywords in the file name when it's appropriate to do so. Let me provide an example. This is just a sample logo. If I wanted to target SEO services on a particular landing page, and if I name that particular image as such, then that would be called spamming. And that's the last thing we wanted. Meaning, just because keywords are important does not mean we include them in the file name. And yet, if we step back and look at the images on our website, then we can say, okay, can I include some keywords within it? In this example, looking at the image, you have to ask yourself, what does the image relay to the viewer? And then name it accordingly. And yet with better practice, you can naturally include some of the target keywords. I could have easily named this image file name as screenshot as an example but that wouldn't make sense and yet i'm still using words in a natural manner by saying you know what that's a sample of search performance report for a local business client because some of the keywords within the file name is important for me to rank on rank your website make sense so, first thing, look at the image, if you can name it better, because then that's going to provide better user experience, particularly for people who rely on assistive technologies to experience websites. And Google can then evaluate the image file name, as well as image alt attributes further extend the meaning of the image itself meaning if this is the file name i can use alt attributes to say that's a brand logo but if i didn't use it then people who rely on assistive technologies will only need to look at the file name trying to understand what the image is about rank your logo what in the world does that mean and now it actually means something more meaningful. Make sense? That's what we need to do. Since page experience update considers a lot of things, it is wise to include width and height element as an attributes within the image tag itself. Because when browsers load, an image they can calculate the image size to render much efficiently when we provide width and height attributes also I'll refresh the page just to demonstrate a couple of important things today the technology available for all website owners allows you to lazy load images what that means is if the image is not within the viewport the browser doesn't need to load it if you use lazy load now i'm not going to show you how you can do that because there are many plugins that allow you to do that or some content management systems actually automatically include lazy loading of an image 
when you incorporate it within the content of your site. Yeah, looking at what we're seeing on the screen, there is no images here. Lazy loading then means when the image comes into viewport, that's when the loading should start, drastically improving page load times. The next optimization factor that you can consider is the, the width of the image. Whether you operate a local business or an e-commerce site, the area that images are viewed has certain width. When you work that out, then you can say, okay, is my image larger than that? If it is, then you say, okay, why is it larger than that when it's never going to be viewed like that? Surely we've got Apple devices, retina images that requires different resolution. But then when you work out which devices your website visitors use the most, will allow you to then say, okay, you know what? Certain width is the maximum that image size should be at in terms of width. Having said that, some e-commerce sites may find it difficult because most e-commerce sites, including WooCommerce, product images allow you to zoom in to the image itself. But looking at this example, that's a huge image. And this size only caters for desktop devices, not necessarily for tablets or mobile. Because on a tablet or a mobile, no one needs to see this image this big. It's going to be much smaller. Yeah, at that moment, if your target audience is still using desktop devices, because that could happen more often than mobile devices, then perhaps you can find the middle ground and say, okay, can I still reduce the, the width of it? Because when you do, you're going to reduce the, the size of the actual file, improving page load times. Now, I blurred this out because it's a valued client site just to demonstrate what else you can do in terms of page experience optimization for Google. Some websites have you know, two, three, four images whereby you could have grouped them into a single file because when the page loads, the browser doesn't need to request, in this example, three different files because that's going to burden the page load times. So you can then say, okay, do I have images whereby I can incorporate instead of showing three or four images, can you incorporate them into just one file? In this example, we will actually do this for this website. Moving forward, what else you can do? you can use compression for images. There are many freely available tools on internet, such as this particular one, straightforward process. You can compress different file types, whether it's JPEG, PNG, and so on. All you need to do is select the files and upload it. Now, if your website is on internet already and you're thinking, okay, you know what? I'm going to optimize my images, but you really can't use online tools then, right? Because it's going to take a lot of time to go through all the images on a published website. What you can then do is search Google for image compression software, whereby you can perhaps download the folder where your images are completely and conduct bulk compression and then re-upload the compressed version. Because at that moment, it's a great opportunity for you to say, okay, 
Now that Ranker is teaching me or showing me how to better optimize images, can I reduce the file size? Can I rename the images better? And at the same time, compress it. And some software programs allow you to do that very efficiently and quickly. Furthermore, there are many plugins that allow you to automatically compress your images. Some of them can be quite expensive to use on a site whereby there are thousands of images. If that's the case, perhaps software programs, which most of them are free, can allow you to complete the same task much efficiently. Okay. Also, a WordPress tip here. When WordPress uploads images, it creates different dimensions of an image for better mobile experience, right? It creates different sizes. If you need to compress images using plugins, especially paid ones, then remember, you only need to compress the original size not necessarily the others. In fact, your images should be responsive. That means the size should change when people view using different devices. Make sense? That's very important for page experience as well. Having mobile responsive websites. So basically, let me quickly wrap it up. Image file name is an opportunity for you to optimize it for search engine optimization purposes. You can utilize alt attribute because it provides better user experience for those who rely on assistive technologies to experience your website. Providing width and height will allow the image to be calculated by browsers much efficiently. Considering to lazy load images is a very important part of page experience optimization. Because why wait for the page to load when the, the viewport doesn't need to? Then grouping images into a single file when it's appropriate to do so will definitely improve page load times. Then resizing according to the content area, as well as compressing your images, will make sure that you have a better website that adheres to Core Web Vitals and page experience, as well as it provides better user experience by default. That means automatically, not only you'll get better results from Google, you'll actually be getting better results for conversions as well. So that is how you optimize images for mobile search engine optimization and page experience optimization. I thank you very much for learning with Rankia and I'll talk with you in the next video session.